good fans. I've made like five starts to this video and they've all stunk, so I'm starting over and I'm leaving that in. Thanks for joining me today as I cook my dinner. I had a meeting today with some teachers who were super excited about the new Flipgrid boards effects because they're math teachers, they were excited about uh, being able to write there, but they realized that we used to give assessments to kids and say, explain yourself on Flipgrid and take a picture of your work as your selfie. And they thought, is there any way to turn that photo into the board so that they can see and explain at the same time? And while I dug around, there wasn't one, but I think I found a hack that could work. So follow me into Flipgrid as we check this out. All right, that was a good dinner with not my wife and not my kid, but here I am, and I wanted to show you that hack I was telling you about. So drop dropped under the effects menu. Down in here is where we can find boards. So again, when I look at the board, I look at the options and I see dots, graphs, lines, colors, but no image. I can't make an image a board, but that shouldn't stop you from doing what we need to do here. Pick any board you want. I'm gonna go with whiteboard for simplicity. And there I am, gone. Now, you know, like I said from yesterday's video, I'm not really gone. Move the split screen over, here I am again. So instead of just stopping here, drop back to the effects again and go to photo. A photo is where you can add a custom sticker and adding a sticker gives you an opportunity to choose a photo that was either uploaded to your drive, downloaded to your computer as a screenshot or anything else like that. So I can pick any image I have or my students have had of their work or any image that they have of anything that they uh, wanted to share with you and describe. So whether that came from a screenshot of their own or a screen of someone else's or whether it came from my photo of my trip to the county fair last year where I saw an ostrich staring at a sign for ostrich jerky. Now, in my opinion, there's a lot to be talked about here from the irony in the situation all the way to the uh, humanity, inhumanity of the situation. I don't even know, but I can upload anything I want and talk about it while I'm here. The good news for you is you can create a video like this as a teacher, but even better for your students, not only do they get to create a video describing their work, but they get to look at their work while they're doing it. A lot of the time they'd be taking a sheet of paper, looking back and forth and all, and it's just kind of awkward. Right now I'm looking right at it. I can see what I'm doing, I can explain my thoughts, and I can explain to you in the best version of what I was thinking so that you can now assess me on what I really know and what I don't. So use a combination of the board feature and the sticker upload feature or the image upload feature to create an opportunity for your students to display their work and explain it. That's the way you're going to hack your way into authentic assessment in remote learning. Hey, I wanted to get this video out to you quickly. So sorry for any glitchiness that occurred on the middle part there. Anytime I screencast over a video recording, things slow down a little bit. I'm going to have to work on that. It's like taking a photograph of a TV screen. You always get the lines. But I hope that worked out for you. I hope you got some helpful facts in there, some ways to kind of hack this up so that at the start of the school year, your kids can really authentically give you the information that you need. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Put some requests in the comments. I'll see what I can do to give you some more hints and tips and tricks and share your best ideas with the community. Thanks again.